Brook Drum with Printerbot.com. I wanted to give you a little sneak peek of where we've gone. Where we've gone. This is the uh, Big E, and it was just kind of an experiment. And then I gave it to my guy Steve and Mark, and they have transformed it into a ready for, you know, beta test or kit sale. So this is the Big E. All of the extrusion is Faztech. You can scale it to whatever size you want. We have this. Uh, fairly small right now um, we're printing an H1 if you haven't checked out the H1 project um, you got to check that out uh, I'm just doing a small version but we're trying to print a big H1 RC plane uh, by Hughes and whoops anyway so I uh, just wanted to take you around and show you the finer points this is all mounted down here stationary um, now it won't have to travel up very very nicely done we've got eccentrics there Move the motor around back. We're using a one millimeter nozzle right now. LCD panel is nice and handy. We're going to mount the filament right here, um, not there. We're using quarter inch Acme. Um, what else? Nice belt tensioning system here. Uh, using a regular belt on the X and regular NEMA 17, but otherwise NEMA 23 motors. These are all tensioned nicely, really tight. We are using acceleration. We've got E cable chain or cable chain to keep all the wiring nice and neat. So this will come as a kit. And honestly, you're gonna have to fiddle with your own wiring. I ain't doing that. Buy your own E chain if you want. I'm gonna give you the bare minimum kit uh, for sale. Buy your own extrusion. So I, I wanna fit all of these metal parts in a small little box and let you decide on the size. So it's kind of like you're off the reservation, but. I'm excited to get this up for sale to see if anybody else wants to experiment with printing big. And by the way, big E means big extruder. We want to replace this little guy, our stock. Uh, this is actually the, the gear head. So it's like this dual pinion gear thing. We actually want to replace that eventually with a pellet extruder or very large versions of some yet to be designed Ubis hot end. So uh, we're trying to go really big, go fast. Right now it's printing at 75 with acceleration, 75 millimeters a second, one millimeter nozzle. Um, so it's really laying down the plastic. Very, very thick layers right now. It's on layer two, it should pop to honeycomb infill right now at 2%. So anyway, thought you'd be interested to see where we're going. Uh, this will be for sale soon, but only for the crazies out there that want to go big.